I, I did 150 pages in the book. I worked six hours every day in this beautiful jungle, but I was I was into water. Oh, in, no, into water, not into water. What's the word? Uh, uh, in, in, introvert. Yeah, you know, I was locked into my little screen, and, and you know I had jungles and monkeys and surf was on the beach. But I was six hours doing this. Six weeks, 150 pages. Yeah. Didn't go out to the bar or anything for six weeks. Her friend turned up. Yeah, uh, we decided to take her out. To, you know, just because she was staying for a month, so we, we did the right thing. Went to the bar at 1:30, came back at three. The, my my computer had gone, my hard drive had gone, my notebook had gone. I mean, the the, the book disappeared and evaporated. And I, I have to say, I, I I'm not a person who gets depressed often. Or, 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 in fact, I, I don't think I ever have got depressed in my life. But I had three days of of, of, of close to tears. You know, like that was that was a lot of work, and you know, like thinking about having to start it all over again. You know. I uh, was was were, you know, and um, I know after about after about three days, you know, you think, oh, fuck, 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 and then you go like, you know, it's actually not so bad being here. Eh? <laughs> in the jungle, yeah, yeah. In the jungle. Hey, it's pretty bad. This is really cool. Once everything from the Western world was stripped of me, all of all of my addictions, my telephone gone, my computer gone, my hard drive. Got all my addictions. Once my modern world addictions were taken from me, I suddenly started to realise what an amazing place I was living in. I suddenly started to realise, you know, like, hey, half the things that, that we want, uh, we call them needs. I need to get that new camera. I need to get that new pair of shoes. I need to. Actually, they're not their wants. I, I got a chance to breathe. Yeah. And, and when I did breathe, I, I, I came up with this concept because I was shocked at if you stop think, reconnect, you know, inhale, exhale, and just breathe for a second, you suddenly can see everything from such a different angle, right? It, it just, it, it doesn't have to be like this. We make it ourselves. It's a psychological choice to be like this. And uh, that's where breathe happened. You know, it was when my book evaporated in one and a half hours at a bar. <laughs> and, uh, I'm stoked. Yeah, I, I took a long time to leave TTR because I felt that I, for everything that nobody had given me, I hadn't had a chance to, to pay it back. When I, when, when I did leave in the end, and it was there with its three year contract, and I had a great team of people in place, and I really understood that, that I didn't need to be there anymore, and I felt that I'd actually paid back to Snowboarding what it had given me. Well, life has given me even more than what just Snowboarding has, and I now need to work to pay life back. And this, this project makes me feel that I'm not just going to be able to pay back snowboarding and all the, the people and the experience. I'm going to be able to pay back life because I'm pretty stoked on life. I have no fucking idea what is going to happen. I am making it up as I go along. I really want to make, breathe something which is going to change the world. That's really what I want to do. And I think we can make it. If it doesn't work, I'll come up with another crazy idea to make a difference. I don't care what I have to do. I'm going to make a difference, one way or the other. So I actually get to have a chance to go and live with a bunch of different people and see a bunch of different things. It'll be those life experiences which is my actual pay. You can take your money and shove it up your ass. The only money we really have, the real currency, is time. And I like to spend my time doing good things, meeting amazing people, putting them all together, and seeing if we can not fucking do something to change this thing. Because for me, it is, ah, uh, it, it's not that fucking difficult. Guys, have a look around. We, we, it's not that difficult. If you just breathe for a second and have a think about it, it, it's not that difficult. We need to change that. We need to get people to start to breathe again. Because if they can breathe again and give themselves some space to, to look at what's going on, then we will make a difference. Because at the end of the day, the only person you can change in this world is yourself. <coughs> at the end of the day. But if you can show people stuff that motivates them, stokes them out, makes them feel like they're part of the solution, they're an active participant, you know, at the end of the day, they will change themselves. It won't be, it won't be by us sitting there and waving our finger at them saying you're bad, you're wrong, you should do it this way. We're just gonna demonstrate things that you can do. We're gonna show you people that have decided to, to do something to make a difference.
And actually, you can't do it. You're just choosing not to. It's your own psycho. It's like it's like it's your own. It's almost a, it's that's why I call it a social festival and an eco festival. We have a social inability to take on social responsibility. And and when you look at it, we're not we're not going to get to our our eco issues before we start to address our social ones. Yeah, we're just not going to get there.